Welcome. Good evening. It's the Kiss Radio Show live on FUBU Radio, and we are coming to you from Facebook. And this is Vassir Serrano. We are hanging in here a little differently this evening. I know you usually join us on Wednesday nights for our features on our independent artists. But tonight, we're doing a little Valentine's Day pregame. That's right, Valentine's Day pregame. I'm looking to get somebody pregnant tonight. I am going to help you out. (laughs) We're going to make it right for you tonight. So this is a time for you to get your cognac. Get whatever you like to sip on, wine, your cigars, because tonight is all about the lovers. I mean, all about the lovers. We are talking slow jam on slow jam on slow jam to help you get your groove on. This is old school radio. You remember back in the day when you were in high school, you're getting ready for a party. It's Friday night. You're hanging out with your friends. There was the there were these shows that would come on I can't mention one in particular by name because we're a show I don't want to name one but for some of you from Charleston South Carolina you remember me being on one this is my area of expertise slow jams love love music and I'm bringing it back to you so sit back relax get your sweetheart whether that be uh your favorite girl your favorite guy or your bob battery operated boyfriend that is and uh relax maybe this will give you some thoughts regarding what you want to do for your sweetheart for valentine's day and if you're single learn to celebrate yourself but this is definitely going to get you in the mood so tonight we've got some luther yeah we've got some prince we've got some ready for the world we've got some tamia we've got a lot going on right here for you tonight and we also have a giveaway I'm going to give you a chance to win a luxury cosmetic gift set for your favorite lady. It could be your mom, your aunt, or your girl. (laughs) And ladies, I want you to be active on this because just like the lip I'm wearing, you could be wearing it too because they are wearing it in Hollywood. And I'm going to tell you coming up this hour how you can get your hands on it. You got to be listening and you got to be active. Here's a hint. Social media is going to be part of this, so I need you to be a part of this. And later on tonight, I've got a very special interview coming up with Casey's going to join us and talk about music, what it looks like today, how it's different, and relationships and love. And I'm going to show you how to make a deposit in the person that you love. All this is coming up right here on the KISS Radio Show Live special edition of for lovers only happy valentine's day guys get ready get uh in your safe place in your safe space get your protection because it's about to go down thanks for joining me let's start out this evening with something nice and smooth and sexy stay tuned we've got a lot on the way let's get into it now Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. Injection, fella. Uh, uh, i 
something that I just can't
Yes, who remembers that? Good music is timeless music, and that's what we are expressing here on this fine and sexy evening. Welcome back. It's Vassir Serrano with the KISS Radio Show live on FUBURadio.com. And for all of you who are out there joining me on social media, Facebook, we are live. You can hear the music playing. We got some people joining me by Instagram. Thank you so much because you could be pre-gaming for your Valentine's Day anywhere, but you chose to spend it with me right here inside the Four Lovers Only pre-Valentine's Day edition of the KISS Radio Show Live. And I appreciate you guys so much. In fact, I'd love to show you my appreciation by giving you a little bit of information that's going to help you in your relationship. That's why we're here, right? Well, now's the time for you to pull out your, your memory. <laughs> maybe a pen, maybe a piece of paper, because this is going to be something you can take with you. I'm going to break down some now and save just a little bit for later. But there are things that we all look forward to having within our relationships, right? So there are sometimes things that you need to talk about that you don't know to talk about. Um, but here are some key things that I think everyone expects. If you're going to be in a successful relationship, you want to be able to make a deposit into the person you love. Let me break it down for you. You guys know what an acronym is. So deposit, D-E-P-O-S-I-T. The D stands for domestic skills. 
Now, whether you're male or female, you all can definitely relate to this. You want to know that your partner has some form of domestic skills. I am not going to make this a gender role topic because this is something that everyone can experience. So in the domestic area, cooking, meal planning, that's important because you got to eat. You got to share meals. You got to provide for your family. So even as a woman, if you're not the best cook, perhaps your partner is someone that wants to help you in that area. Someone who wants to express that uh, need or that ability in that area. And perhaps both of you, neither one of you know how to cook very well. <laughs> Like I said, you got to eat, you got to provide for your family, uh, you got to provide for yourself. So take a cooking class, develop those skills that are going to be lasting within your relationship. Cooking and eating, it's probably one of the big ones. Cleaning, nobody wants a partner that just does not help at all. Perhaps the best thing for you is not cleaning the bathroom, then you guys can switch out. Maybe one cleans the bathroom, another cleans the bedroom. One cleans the kitchen, another cleans the garage. But you have to have some type of agreement that's going to help develop your relationship and help build your expectations. Because sometimes people have expectations and they don't share. They think people come into a relationship and are auto automatically going to know what they want or what they need. I tell you, that's unfair to your partner. So make sure you're sharing even in the domestic aspects of taking care of your space, the space you're going to share together, as well as your own personal space. And keep in mind what you see in your partner's personal space, you will also see in yours if you don't discuss this matter. And it can cause problems in the future. Uh, domestic skills would be financial balance. If you're not good with the checkbook, turn it over to your partner if they are. And what I mean by that is consult with your partner. Come up with a financial plan together. Find out which one of you executes best and rely on that person or believe in that person if they tell you they can do it give them the opportunity to do so of course i'm talking about this in a larger sense like if you're married in a, a lifelong committed relationship that is a great opportunity for you to share and shine so look into those things when you're in a relationship concerning domestic skills and of course hygiene i don't think i need to explain that one hygiene is very important in a relationship if you want someone to be close to you, you have to learn how to take care of yourself. If you have some challenges, because not everybody has the experience um, of having someone explain to them, and it depends, people grow up differently. I grew up in foster care, so my girly conversations happened at different times in my life and oftentimes happened with my peers. It did not happen with an adult, so you never know someone's background. If you find that you're loved and your cherished one has a challenge in the hygienic area have a conversation with them because again in the long run this is going to help continue a healthy and long relationship that's the d domestic skills the e is encouragement again that's one of those things i don't think is necessary to explain but i'm going to break it down here encouragement in your family your occupation your activities and in the area of money is very, very important. Encouragement in the family. You know, we all have different challenges that we face within our individual families, even outside of having a partner. Sometimes your partner just needs to be there and support you in whatever, whatever you're going through with your family. That's really important to know that your partner can rely on you for that. In the occupation, sometimes we have challenges in the workplace. We want to be able to be a safe haven for our partner to come home and discuss those woes of life in the workplace. And there are many more areas. We're going to talk about that a little more when we come back. We want to get into some more of this great love music. This is what we used to call baby making music. Let's start off with an independent artist, Lavelle C. out of Chicago. Here's why. Kiss a radio show live for lovers only.
My passport, late nights, late flights. This a life that I asked for. I said, had a mind, but you know, I'm thinking about you. Only been two months out here, but baby, I can't be. Be without you, be without you. Ain't trying to go. Paper, 
It's a grind, it's a grind But I still try to hit you On the late night, on the FaceTime Just so you know I'm thinking about you Only been two months out here But baby, yeah to the all-new FUBU Radio, playing the hip-hop and R&B hits of today and yesterday. Well, I'm sorry that you're the last 
like I missed a shot. It's like I dropped the ball. Damn, I'm sorry. It's like I'm on stage and I forgot the words. Damn, I'm sorry. It's like building a new house with no roof and no doors. Damn, I'm sorry. It's like trying to propose and I ain't got the ring. Oh, damn, I'm sorry. But girl, I've apologized a million times before. I've apologized a million times. So here it comes again for all the wrong I've done. Here's one million one. Girl, this is my sorry for 2004. And I ain't gonna mess them no more this year. I'ma take this one chance and make it real clear. I'm sorry, and I'm sorry, sorry, in case I don't tell you. Tell you December, I'm sorry. It's like staying out all night and way too much to drink. It's like you change your hair and I don't say a thing. Damn, I'm sorry. It's like we're falling fast asleep with no kiss and before we hit. Damn, I'm sorry. And it's like I forgot your gift on 02, 14, 03. Damn, I'm so sorry. I'm so but girl, I've apologized a million times before. I've apologized a million times. So here it comes. Again for all the wrong I've done. Here's one million words. Sorry for 2004. I ain't gonna mess up no more. Oh, this year. I'ma take my time. I'ma make it clear to you. Oh, yeah. Sorry for 2004, but again, good music is timeless. Timeless music. Welcome back. You are inside. That's right. Kiss the radio show live for lovers only. It's Vassir, and we're getting back to how we can uh, continue to make a deposit into the lives of our cherished ones. Because after all, if you're going to be spending time with someone... And you're going to bring them in as part of your life and allow yourself to become a part of theirs. You want to make sure that you're making great investments in one another. And a great way of doing that is to make a deposit. I shared with you before, deposit is an acronym, D-E-P-O-S-I-T. We are going to jump on to the P. I've already shared with you domestic skills and I shared with you some of the encouragement in the family, occupation, also in activities, and in money. You guys got to get that back together. But let's talk about P. P is very important because it stands for two things. Peace, P-E-A-C-E, and peace, P-I-E-C-E. You have got to be your loved one's peace. If you live together, you got to be that place they can come home and rest to separate themselves from what goes on in the world. There has to be peace at home. You got to work together to create that peace. But also you got to realize that if this is your intimate partner, you are their peace. So when they feel as though they want to become intimate, you have to be in a place to be open, to be intimate with your loved one. It's very important. It's one of the foundations of a great relationship is being able to be peaceful at home and 
be at peace with one another. Let's move to the O. Now, I might lose some of you on this one because of the word, but I'm going to break it down for you. The O in deposit stands for obedience. I know some of you are like, what? Let me go ahead and put this yak down. Let me go ahead and put this glass of wine down. Uh, let me draw a little longer on this cigar because I want to see where she's going with this. Yes, obedience. Now, by definition, obedience is compliance with an order, a request, or law, submission to another's authority. But I want you to ponder on this. In the sense of a relationship, think about the commitment you've made to yourself regarding your partner. In this move, you considered yourself in a position of authority regarding your own influence on your partner's well-being. However, it is your partner that has the authority in their life to make the decision on who they will move forward with, who will they allow close to them, who they will allow to know the intimate detail and experiences of their life. So if you carry your partner's vision on life, you will find yourself in a place of submission or obedience to make sure that vision comes to life, right? You're going to carry it. You're going to be obedient, not to the person. You're being obedient to the overall vision. And you're also kind of being obedient to yourself and making sure that you remain within the lines of the commitment that you chose to make to this person. You know, at times of challenge or even when you're at a time, a place of rest, you want to hold yourself accountable. Be obedient to your commitment to them. The S and the I in the word deposit go together. The S is spiritual. The I is intercessor. The ability to affect the spirit or the soul of your partner should not be taken lightly. It can be essential to the growth of your partner um, spiritually, mentally, and physically. It's a great power and a responsibility and it should be handled with extreme care. Having a personal, positive, spiritual practice for yourself can absolutely influence what happens with your partner. You want to be there to hold them up in prayer. That's where the intercession part comes into play. Stand in the gap. And for those of you who don't know what the gap is, stand in proxy. If you don't know what proxy is, then be there <laughs> to stand up for them and be their strength and pray for them when they cannot be there for themselves. And even when they can be, just be a partner. Remember that vision I talked about a few minutes ago? You're carrying a vision with one another. You're a joint in this. Think of your positive spiritual practice as keeping your spiritual muscle healthy. You got to pray. You got to keep yourself prayed up. You got to keep your partner prayer prayed up because the strength that you have together will be able to overcome so much. And the T in deposit is simply this trust. Your partner absolutely has to be able to trust you with even their faults because without trust, your deposit means nothing and your relationship is bankrupt. That's it. That's your deposit. All right, guys. Here is the master, the maestro himself. Luther Vandross is going to tell you all about love. Listen into this one. If you've never heard it, I encourage you to sit back, relax, and get into Luther Vandross. A house is not a home. chair is still a chair Even when there's no one sitting there But a chair is not a house And a house is not a home when there's no one there To hold A room 
crystal room Even when there's nothing But gloom, but all the room is not a house, and a house is not a home when the two of us are far apart, and one of us has a road. Now and then, I call your name, and suddenly your face appears, but it's just a crazy game when it ends. Pretty little darling ever Don't let one mistake keep us apart oh. I'm not meant to live alone Turn this house into a And turn the key, oh, oh, please be there Saying that you're still in love with me I'm not meant to live alone Turn this house And turn the key, oh, please be there, still in love. I said, still in love. Still in love. Are you gonna be in love with me? I want you and need you to be yeah. still in love. So you're gonna be in love with me. Welcome to Kiss Radio Show Live. This is Vassier. Who's this? Hi, Madeline. You are live. Welcome to the Kiss Radio Show. How are you? I am excellent. Thank you for asking. How are you? I'm doing very well. Thank you and Case both for calling in. And we are ready for him. We are live. Our listeners are tuned in and ready to hear from the sultry songster himself. (laughs) All right. I'm going to place you on hold and I'll pass him in, okay? Absolutely. Thank you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we will be joined by Case here very, very shortly. I am excited because tonight's show is all about real music, real talent. And I am honored because this man has been in the industry for 24 years and still going strong. Voice immaculate still. And he, I know, definitely was a part of me growing up. And I'm pretty sure with a lot of you, uh, you can identify. He's been a part of, actually, he's been a part of our culture for a while as well. Having soundtracks and movies. Uh, he's a Grammy-nominated artist. And he is one of our true voices. 
Um, it's been great just having some of his music and we do plan on playing some of his music this evening as well. We may have lost him. It's a possibility that we may have lost him and we will be getting him back. But in the meantime, we're going to keep on moving forward with some great music. Uh, and then we'll get Case back on the line and see what he has going on 24 years. That's amazing. Hi, Madeline. Hello. Welcome to Kiss Radio Show. Hi, Madeline. We got you back on the line. <laughs> okay, great. I'm sorry. I don't know what happened. We dropped. Hold on one second. I'll pass case in. Absolutely. Thank you for holding. Case is on the line. Hi. Good evening, Case. Welcome to the Kiss Radio Show Live. This is the Four Lovers Only Edition, and we are glad to have you. Thank you for having me. Well, it's my pleasure. I mean, as I was sharing with our with our audience, 24 years in this business says a lot, especially when your talent is still just as pristine as it was when you began. So I am excited to have you on the show tonight. You know, this is the pre-Valentine's Day edition. I thought that it was appropriate to have one of our sultry, strong-voiced gentlemen to join us. So thank you <laughs> very, very much. Thank you. It's that time of year, Jim. It is. And you know what? I'm looking forward to, to every opportunity I get to see another one. <laughs> uh, now, let's talk yeah, about let's talk about what you got going on, because I'm really excited um, to know that you are very active still in the music industry, bringing us great quality music because it has changed a lot over the years. So let's start off with talking about what you got going on. Um, right now, I'm, I just got started uh, writing on the, on the next album. Um getting started on that i'm um, doing some acting stuff and um just doing a lot of touring really so uh i'm actually about to go to the studio in a little while and, and do some more writing so i'm really like in the very very beginning stages of doing the next project so. well considering that writing is one of the things that you you're known for and you're respected for within the industry writing for people like christopher williams usher in his early years and also being a wonderful artist yourself giving us um six albums over the course of your career and it sounds like there are plenty more to come how writing in this particular environment how has it changed because music has certainly changed a lot for you yeah it's definitely changed um i i guess i try to stay the same you know pretty much lyrically um but a lot of times uh with the style that i write in i'll, I'll write pretty much the same but i have I make sure that the people that I'm working with on the production side um, kind of make sure that it doesn't sound dated and that, you know, that I'm that I'm staying right in the pocket where I need to be. So I, cause I, I don't want to compromise myself for the sake of, oh, you need to make it sound young or, you know, I'm not, I'm not really into that. So it's, it's like a fine line between not making it sound really dated and not trying to be something that you're not. So. It's, can, it's always like a bit of balance in that. I can completely understand that. Now, in today's music, as I mentioned earlier, uh, things have really, really changed. Do you think, and you were talking about making sure that your voice and you're still being yourself and you're not sounding dated, in this particular age, I will say, of music, do you think that it has changed uh, as far as, at one time, music used to have mystery and creative central imagery in it. Uh, do you think that is lacking now? How do you feel as though that's changed? Um, I think a lot of the mainstream music that that's out 
now is it's all the same and it, it kind of lacks creativity to me on a lot of levels but there is a lot there's a lot of music that's out that that does have more creativity and you know people talking about real things and so i mean it, it, it there's a balance but like i said it, uh, it's mostly the the mainstream stuff that has the that that you're talking about that's all about the same thing every song is about sex and the strip club and you know that that sort of thing well, some of the music that we're playing on tonight's show is is that old, you know, I won't even say old, but the timing where, you know, music had that mystery. It had suggestion. It had sensuality, um, but it had pure vocals. So right. we're playing. Overt. Yeah, yeah. We're playing yeah. Luther, um, Silk. Uh, we're going to reach even further back, Jeffrey Osborne, and just, you know, different music um, that, that okay, definitely I got it going on tonight. oh I'm trying to tell you that was the yeah. whole goal oh, <laughs> usually on oh, Wednesday geez. nights we do uh, independent artists to try to give them a platform um, so that, that mm-hmm. people can become exposed to their uh, their music their artistry but on tonight I decided to take over um, the helm of the ship if you will and kind of bring it down that's why it's for lovers only and we thought that you would be amazing for this this time it's Pre Valentine's Day, and I'm trying to get somebody knocked up tonight. I got to be honest with you. So, <laughs> yeah, it sounds like you, you're well on the way. This is gonna happen. I've got the music flowing now. You were talking about mainstream being different. Um, the music um is very, very different with with the artistry. So you do have some artists out there that are still doing the pure vocals, that are doing um mm-hmm. very well thought out music. Is there anyone in particular? for you that you're listening to who's on your playlist um, well i usually for the most part listen to to older music yes. um especially now when i'm in in the process of starting to write again then i, I definitely not listening to anything anything new really um but I, but i listen to all kind of stuff i like um ty dolla sign uh miguel um i like summer walker Ooh. um yeah that so that that's that's like the the newer stuff that I listen to. But like I said, I'm I'm getting into the mode of writing this next album. So I'm really going back to what I usually listen to, which is like classic Motown, um, you know that that type of stuff. So now, are you writing for yourself or are you writing for others? Um, myself. Awesome. Right now, so, yeah. Um, any plans on writing for anyone else in the in the near future? Somebody you may want to share. <laughs> um. Nah, not right now. Um, I have some stuff that I started working on with uh, Demetri McKinney, um, but uh, yeah, right now I'm just I'm just focusing on this, this next album. So and focusing on your next album. When do you think that may be out so that we can keep people on pins and needles waiting for that next project? Oh, I have no idea because, like I said, I'm literally just starting. Just like starting. A, the songs don't even have words. It's just a bunch of melodies and ideas. So. But you are the writer. You have a lot of uh, strong following. I mean, movie soundtracks. Mm-hmm. I mean, quite honestly, your career is the soundtrack for many, many people, including myself, my life. So it's been important. You've been an intricate part of a lot of people um, growing up and having a a palette, if you will, for great music, great writing, and great vocals. So thank you. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you. Now, is there anything in particular besides the fact that you're working on a project um, that you want to share with our listeners? Uh, no, nah, I mean, well, I'd be in a city near you. I just got to stay posted. Um, I got a bunch of shows coming up. I think I like five more this month. And they, I think they're booked up to like September right now. So I'll, I'll be posting them in there, the, the tour dates. And uh, they'll be on social media and I'll be, I'll be all over the place. Perfect. Tell our listeners where they can find you on social media. Um, on Instagram, it's I am underscore case one. Um, Twitter is case underscore music and uh, Facebook is case music. Excellent. And one last question. You might have to dig deep on this one. Would you care okay. to share a dope lyric since you are a writer or a sultry nugget regarding love? Because we are in that season. Dope lyric. Ah, uh, so many dope lyrics. You are um, a poet. A dope lyric. 
about love? That's a very good question. Um, mm, I don't know. Um, well, maybe something you're writing. How about that? That you might be able to add that to one of your new songs. <laughs> well, <laughs> a dope well yeah. Well, the stuff like it's the stuff I'm right now. There's no words to that yet. So, <laughs> to none of that. So, well, we definitely appreciate you. you. To hear that right now. We appreciate you, your time, and your talent, Case. Thank you again for joining us here on the Kiss Radio Show Live, and we'll be reaching out to you because we'd love to know more about the dates that you have coming up. Um, now we are based out of Atlanta, but we definitely want to be able to share with our listeners what else you have going on. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Have a great evening. And with you that, na- on that note, we are actually going to get into some Case, and then come back. Case and some other artists, and then come back and talk about this giveaway that we have going on. Standing here, looking out my window. Nights are long and my days are cold Cause I don't have you How can I be so damn demanding I know you said that it's over now But I can't let go Every day I wanna pick up the phone And tell you that you're everything I need in the morning If only I could find you Thought I saw you pass me. <laughs> A rear view mirror's playing tricks on me, cause you fade away. Maybe I'm just hallucinating. Cause my loneliness got the best of me, and yeah, my heart's so weak. Every day I wanna pick up the phone. You tell you that you're.
It's the Four Lovers Only Edition, pre-Valentine's Day edition, that is. Pre-game before Valentine's Day and your girl, Vassir Serrano, right here on KISS Radio Show Live. Thank you guys so much for joining me in our last hour. We had a quick interview with Case, who was one of our R&B crooners, a real, real voice, excellent writing, and we just look forward to hearing more music from him. Of course, we've got more music coming up, but right now, I want to talk about this giveaway. So I've been talking about this little basket here I'm holding. For those of you who are watching on social media, I have this wonderful gift basket that I want to give to someone. What's in the basket, you ask? You see this awesome lip color I'm wearing? It is Luxury Cosmetics from La Monique Cosmetics. Now, I need you to understand. People were receiving this lip gloss, these lipsticks, last weekend during the Oscars because this was part of the Oscar gifting suite. So if you want a piece of luxury and you want that VIP experience, then I need you, guys and girls, to go to social media. Here's the contest. Number five, who goes on and follows Vassir underscore Serrano. That's V A S S I E R underscore S E R R A N O on Instagram and Facebook. Additionally, you must also follow the Kiss Radio Show live on Instagram and Facebook. That is at K I S S R A D I O S H O W L I V E at Kiss Radio Show live on Instagram and Facebook follow like and the fifth person to complete these tasks will be the winner i will announce before the end of the show show ends at nine o'clock let you know somewhere around 8 50 who's going to win this awesome gift basket with this luxury luxury product and it is luxury it's beautiful pigments are strong they stay on all day long And I drink a lot of water. And so I want you to join me in the experience that I've been having. Join the people in Hollywood. And there is a special cause. This young lady is a black woman. It is an individually woman-owned business. And she is also a domestic violence survivor. She began creating the products to help domestic violence victims cover their makeup. It's a great cause. So join us. And coming up. We've got more music, of course, from whom you may ask. Well, you know, again, this is for lovers only. So everything is about love, about making love. And I do intend to get someone pregnant tonight. So (laughs) we've got some pretty sultry music coming up. Um, You know what? We gave you some Luther. I might pull out some Teddy P. That's it. That's what I like. Got Janet Jackson coming up as well. You're right here inside for lovers only. The pre lovers day show. Kiss Radio Show Live. Where 
there's nobody, there's nobody else around. Blood set by a cozy lit fire, and we can be each other's company. Now, how does that sound to you? You see, cause it sounds so
Listening to the all new FUBU Radio, playing the hip hop and RB hits of today and yesterday. favorite right there to me I can't get enough of you mm, mm, mm. Woo! I don't know about y'all but I'm a little heated in here <laughs> that's what tonight is all about for lovers only the pre-valentine's day edition of the kiss radio show live it is Vassier hanging out with you guys thank you for joining me and we are getting close to that winner for this wonderful luxury cosmetic basket and um, I am just really excited that you guys decided to join me this evening. I want to make sure that not only do you get to hear the music I'm sure you are missing, you get to get right for Valentine's Day. 
but I also want to make sure that you get informed. Now, of course, right now is a time we really celebrate love and relationships because it's Valentine's Day. But there is a serious topic that I do want to bring to your attention. I feel as though is very, very important. Uh, this is February and this is officially uh, Teen Dating Violence Awareness Month. I know you're like, this might be a somber topic, but it is an important topic because our kids need your help. Now understand, um, teen dating violence awareness, the reason why this exists is because it is happening and people do need to be informed. Uh, our children, uh, our adolescents, we, we need to be aware of what they're going through. It's already hard enough being a teenager. Um, but once they get into a situation where they are dating, you know, their peers, people they're going to school with, people outside of their school, you know, emotions get involved and it gets high. And some people, you know, we're not all successful in, 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 I guess I would have to say controlling those emotions. And if we're not taught how to be in a safe place, we can open ourselves up or they can open themselves up to being in a place they did never, they never expected to be in. Uh, teen dating violence is a silent epidemic. It is also a growing epidemic. It is uh, very surprising to find that one in three high school students experience some form of dating violence. 81% of parents said they didn't even think and didn't know if dating that dating violence was a problem. And that's tough because two thirds of the kids never report the abuse to someone who cares, to an adult that cares. Even in school situations, there are over 80% of school counselors that report being unprepared to address incidents of abuse. That's a lot. That means we're not guarded. We're not educated on how to help take care of our children additionally outside of just the regular things that you teach your kids. And so I want to make sure that you guys are aware um, that it is a concern and it's something that you can be actively involved in. It doesn't have to be your child. Um, you know, teen dating violence happens usually between the ages of 13 and 19 years old. So there are children in your neighborhood, there are kids in your neighborhood, there are high schoolers, um, and some kids are even getting into college age that might be suffering with this. If you see something, say something. It's okay to speak up, whether it be to a parent or a caring adult in that child's circle. It's okay to speak up because you're helping to save a child. Um, in case you don't know what teen dating violence is, because unfortunately many people do not, it is a pattern of behavior that includes physical, emotional, verbal, or sexual abuse used by a person in an intimate relationship to exert power, and control over another and this is not just happening to little girls I know sometimes we hear things like this and we classify it as something that girls may suffer with but it also happens to young men so when I say our kids I'm talking about our children male and female uh, there are different types of dating abuse and you may actually witness some of this emotional and verbal abuse uh, stalking financial abuse physical abuse uh, sexual abuse, digital abuse. Now I want to touch on specifically the financial, the sexual and the digital abuse. You would think with kids 13 to 19 years old that they may not, the financial aspect may not be an issue, but you have to realize that um, things have changed a lot, at least since I was a kid. And kids actually carry accounts. They have debit cards. They have access to funds that we did not have back in the day. And they do, uh, in this particular case, use money or access to accounts to exert power or control over their partner. Uh, the sexual abuse, and that may sound obvious, but you have to think about it on this level. Any action that impacts a person's ability to control their sexual activity or their circumstances in which sexual activity occurs, if it's restricting access to birth control or condoms, that also is sexual abuse. I know you may not think of it on that level, but it does exist. Digital abuse, because that's something I'm going to use air quotes here, new. The use of technology such as texting and social networking to bully, harass, stalk, or intimidate a partner. We hear a lot about social media bullying 
a lot these days, but it is happening um, very openly among children. But it's also happening in these sexual, I'm sorry, in these uh, domestic violence situations concerning teens and their dating. So it is important for you to pay attention to see what's going on. Recognize that there's someone that is very adamant about taking uh, control of a lot of time of any child. If it's another child, they're heavily dependent upon them. They guilt them um, for not being available for them. They pressure them. There's a lot going on, and it's very important for you to be aware. This is important and near and dear to my heart. Um, As many of you may know, I am an ambassador for the Still Standing Alliance. Uh, The Still Standing Alliance is a nonprofit organization focused on domestic violence, advocacy, awareness, and prevention strategies. And so we take on issues such as teen dating violence and we train. So if you are interested in knowing more, you work with children, um, church, schools, whatever it, it takes, whatever environment it's in, and you work with children and you need to be trained, you need to know how to recognize these things and how to respond to them, please, by all means, go to the stillstandingalliance.org. There are opportunities to request training for your organization. And I ask that you do not delay in doing that. Okay. Now we're going to move on with the program. This is very, very important. I felt as though you really needed to hear this. And there is more information available out there. Again, reach out to the Still Standing Alliance organization. And they will help you through this process. Okay. All right. Now let's move on because we are still in in love we are still pushing love i am selling love tonight (laughs) and i want you guys to join me sit back relax enjoy the music we have so much here for you and i hope you are enjoying yourself we'll be announcing our winner very very shortly but in the meantime here's some janet jackson some escape some tyrese just sit back listen Enjoy yourself. It's a Kiss Radio Show Live, for lovers only, pre-Valentine's Day edition.
are listening to the all new FUBU Radio, playing the hip hop and R&B hits of today and yesterday. You say I can treat you better, but I think it's time to tell you how I feel tonight. You think I'm been the streets messing up our love and blessings? How would you expect me to act? Cause the way it feels How it feels, how it feels You ain't keep it real Never keep it real You see Netflix and chill When you come over the door It's gon' kill me It's gon' kill me Go, go, go How many times did you tell me To show, show, show I need to learn all the lessons Never really mattered too much to me that you were just too damned old for me. All that really mattered was you were my girlfriend, and baby, that's all that mattered to me. Let me love you down. Let me love you down 
just the way you like it. If you're going to end it, end it on a wet note. <laughs> Making love in the rain. Thank you guys so much for joining us here for Four Lovers Only, the pre-Valentine's Day edition of the KISS Radio Show Live. It's Vassir Serrano, and I am going to say congratulations to Tamala Dot Patterson, who is the winner of our wonderful luxury cosmetic gift. And uh, she's going to be looking kind of fly for uh, I think she's going to wear that red lip really, really well. Really, really well. Valentine's Day is right around the corner. You guys, make sure you are taking care of the people that you love. Make sure you're making a deposit into your very, very special one because a deposit into them is an investment and it's an investment in you. I am going to wrap up the show and just say again, thank you for joining me. They let me do a special show. I'm very thankful for you guys being here and I, hopefully I got your mind right for Valentine's Day, your mind right for the evening and I really do want somebody to let me know if they get knocked up on tonight because you know that was the goal. Music has changed a lot but we still have an appreciation for those who have set a path uh, for us and we still love that music. Good music is timeless and so for everyone we got a chance to hear tonight let that register in your spirit. We even got a chance to hear some new, some new favorites. And uh, I'm glad you guys are here. You're my favorite. Join us on Sunday, Sunday, Sunday for the regular Kids Radio Show Live on FUBU Radio and iHeart Radio. We'll be Facebook Live, of course, but you can listen to us through the FUBU Radio app or on iHeart Radio. Kids Radio Show Live. I want to say thank you again. Guys, have a great night safe valentine's day use protection if needed (laughs) eat well have a great time out on the town and remember to love yourselves first it's your girl vassier serrano the voice kiss radio show live have a great night